Hi, Janice Wendt here. A great feature available in Photoshop is the ability to work with smart objects. There are many advantages to using a smart object, including the use of smart filters. Perfectly Clear is now smart filter compatible and fully functional with any smart object. I'd like to demonstrate an example of a smart object workflow using Perfectly Clear as a smart filter. First, you want to start out with any file you have open in Photoshop. You can make it a TIFF, a JPEG, or a PSD, as long as you have it open in Photoshop. The easiest way to make this a smart object is go to Filter, Convert, or Smart Filters. This will automatically make this a smart object. I'm going to click OK here. Photoshop has made this a smart object. You'll notice it no longer says Background Layer, but it says Layer 0. And there's a little square in the thumbnail indicating this is a smart object. This smart object is ready for a smart filter. So go to Filter, Tech Imaging, Perfectly Clear. Perfectly Clear will automatically sense this is a smart object and open up as a smart filter. I'm going to use my default settings in here. We'll look at the before and after to see how much better that image is. That looks fantastic. Click OK. Now the filter has been applied as a smart filter. You'll notice that the smart filter lies below layer 0. So it says smart filters and perfectly clear. If I wanted to make any changes in this image, I would do it here on the perfectly clear filter. Simply by double clicking on perfectly clear and it comes up with all my original settings. I do not need to start over because it is a smart filter. So it keeps all the settings I have and I can always pick up where I left off. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Fidelity so it gives me better color in the background. Click OK. Now Perfectly Clear has applied these new settings to the smart object. You can turn it on and off by clicking right here on the eye next to Smart Filters. Before and after. If you're working with a RAW file, it's best to start your smart object workflow in Adobe Camera Raw. Let me briefly show you how this workflow is different than my previous workflow. First I'm going to go into File, Browsing Bridge, and I'm going to select this image. Double click here, and now it'll open up in Adobe Camera Raw. Let's go ahead and shrink that down. Adobe Camera Raw gives you a lot of different adjustments, but Perfectly Clear does a lot of these automatically, so I do not need to set them in Adobe Camera Raw. I will zero out all my settings over here, and then including my tint, I'll set that at zero, so that all of this is coming in with original information. Next, I want to turn off my sharpening in Adobe Camera Raw. The reason for this is that Perfectly Clear has 100% artifact-free sharpening, and it's my preferred direction of sharpening rather than in Camera Raw. So we're going to just turn that off, so turn it to zero. You don't need to adjust any of these sliders because these sliders reflect this one here. Next, I want to remove chromatic aberration, so I'm going to click on the Lens tab, and then remove chromatic aberrations. All lenses contain chromatic aberration, so it's always good to remove them. And Adobe Camera Raw is the best at this particular procedure. Next, I want to adjust my camera profile. So click on the camera, and you'll see Camera Profile. If you do not have your camera profile, use Camera Neutral. I happen to have a profile for my camera, so I'm going to apply that. Go to Nikon D800. Next, we want to open it as a smart object, but you'll notice it says Open Image. Let's go to the interface that shows where we can go in and make it a smart object. Click on this line at the bottom of the interface. Your interface may say something different than mine, but it's in the same position. It'll always have an underline on it. So go ahead and click on that line, and you'll notice the workflow options come up. This is where you would change your, your space, your bit depth, and your image size and resolution. Most importantly, this is where we'd indicate we want to open in Photoshop as a smart object. So go ahead and turn that on. Click OK. And now the button says Open Object. Click Open Object. Adobe Camera Raw has now opened this as a smart object with reference back to my original raw file. Now it's ready for Perfectly Clear. So click Filter, Tech Imaging, Perfectly Clear. Perfectly Clear will now open as a smart filter. 
and it'll have the same custom settings I last used. I may not want to use those custom settings because this rock is getting a little bit on the dark side. So I might want to use one of my presets. One of the presets is Fixed Dark. Fixed Dark opens up all the little dark areas, but it's still a little dark on that portion of the rock. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off Vibrancy. Now that opens it up very nicely. But I'm going to add contrast to give me more depth detail. There we go. That looks fantastic. I do want to increase the fidelity in there for the color of the sky. And I want to increase my sharpening. Ah, that looks fantastic. I'm going to look at a before and after here. Yep. That gives me all that nice clean detail and the brightness in that original file that I saw. Click OK. And now Perfectly Clear will apply to the smart object. What are the advantages of working with a smart object? First, you can always go back and edit the RAW by clicking on the image thumbnail. So this is the image thumbnail right here. You can click on it and you can always go back to your original RAW file. I'll just double click on the thumbnail and it opens up the original RAW file. If I want even more detail in my shadows and in the mountain, I can always open up my shadows with my shadow adjustment. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK with this new adjustment. Adobe Camera Raw will apply the new adjustments to my smart object. And now Perfectly Clear will recalculate those adjustments it made previously to the file and apply it to the new file. And now you can see those adjustments. Now I might want to make the image just a hair darker. So to do that, I'll go ahead and click on Perfectly Clear, come into the Smart Filter. You'll see all my original adjustments are here. And I'm going to make that exposure just a little bit darker. And I'll set this auto correction to low. Now I can set a little bit of vibrancy. And I'll just turn that all the way down. There, now this gives it a nice, rich vividness that I would like to see in this particular image. Click OK. What's really wonderful about using smart objects is all your adjustments can be changed without starting over in your workflow. Just save your image as a PSD or TIFF to preserve the smart object workflow. Tomorrow, next week, next month, or even next year, you can always make adjustments to your Perfectly Clear filter or your RAW file. If you have an older version of Perfectly Clear, please download the free update to make your version compatible as a smart filter for your smart objects. If you do not own a copy of Perfectly Clear, please download a 30-day free trial at www.ethentech.com and click on Products. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our links to our other videos at athentech.com under our Education tab.